Uh, wait, so I should receive Receive. Okay. Yes. Oh, God, this team is <laughs> so terrible. I don't know what anything is. Uh... Nobs are OP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Dimmy says. <laughs> Only that's Dimmy. what Dimmy said. <laughs> yeah. Dimmath! <laughs> Dimrath, when are we going to have our uh, rematch? I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Second game of Blood Bowl, let's go. <laughs> Dimrath. Oh, yeah, that's the rule. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is the rule of five. And then you've also got che Chevron's is the other main one that you would do. Um, Jim, Dimmy says that he sent you a message, and I guess that I'm your guys' secretary now. And, um, you should check your messages. Oh, thank you very much, secretary. Do you, do you have anything you'd like to tell Dim? I can pass it along. Oh, oh uh, let me let me find out. Let's see what he's messaged me here. <laughs> um, oh God. Okay. Um, <laughs> tell him uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, Demi, Jim says, of course, yeah, he'll be there <laughs> right away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, randomness, <laughs> I'm heard. I'm heard. I mean, to be fair, you can't see my pretty face, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you a free pass. And then, uh, this is, uh, this is Chevron's, right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. That's what I was trying to remember how to do, because it's, is it just the people you don't care about right behind, right? Where do so, you put? Can you? Oh, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, have you got my stream open so yeah. you can see my mouse? Yeah. So mm -hmm. these two are generally your best players that you don't want getting hit. Yeah. That, okay. Be because the other six can all get hit, so it only yeah. protects two players, and then you want kind of decent defensive players here. So that it's harder to crack down the side or through the middle, um, and then the other one is the Gdanik setup, of course. Gdanik, though there's no more Gdanik in Blood Bowl Three, tragically. I remember I liked the Gdanik setup, yeah, because it's like staggered. Yeah, is that that protects four players. And it, it does a lot of things with like trap space and uh, uh, what's it called? Responsiveness to a blitz and stuff. Mm. So, um, the Gadanik. I played some random dude on Fumble and he did like an amazing setup. And I was like, I, I copied it and called it the, the totally original Jimmy Fantastic setup. But uh, <laughs> I've, I've never loaded it since. since Content I saved it. stealer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All about the content stealing. Yep. All right, let's go with this. Okay. Knobs will never win challenge. Hello, Tim. <clears throat> Hello, Hammers. Okay, so I'm on offense too. So the goal of like setting up for offense is just to take as many hits on the line as possible, right? And and, then, and, and protect, protect the, ball. the ball. Yeah. yeah. Pickles and soup. What? It's funny that you don't remember anything, anything that you, that happens. <laughs> Didn't even remember the beavers. I don't know how you don't remember the, the pickles and soup, considering it happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the pickles and soup? <laughs> but do you remember the Among Us night when... Uh... Oh, I when was you like, had problems. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I solved my problems? It was with pickles and soup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, so the, the, you want to protect against a blitz, and you want mm -hmm. to max your blocks as as much as reasonable. It's better Basically, to not have the things. wings on the line of scrim line of scrimmage, right? Depends on the team. Um, with lizard men, they probably want them on. With humans. Maybe not because you know, okay. like a perfect defense might uh, screw you. Okay, and then 
is this half decent or should the ogre ogre should be in the middle or um so the problem with the oh if you, if you have the ogre on the end um you can block down the line and then the ogre can 3d at the end yeah um but if you have them in the middle then you probably want to block off the others first which which means he you know you might get less total blocks so yeah. um it, generally in the middle obviously he's got like his strength is more relevant in the middle so yeah. so blocking from the side is best but standing in the middle is best so like you've got to pick your poison between the two of them really yeah i'm gonna do it this way because if that's um a knockdown this way you get the worst of both worlds oh really no, 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 no. If if you do that, actually, if you do the blocks correctly, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just gonna go with this. We'll we'll see if you do or not. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> if you like, Jim <laughs> <laughs> in my chat now saying, Jim, can you ask Tren what a dog's called? But I I can already <laughs> tell you. What, what, how do you not know that, Jimmy? How do you not know that? You disgust me, you dirtbag. <laughs> but I don't know. It's Coda, isn't it? Coda. Everyone knows that. Yep. Yep. There you go. You did, you did the first block correctly. Well done. Oh, fuck me. I've got to click fucking fend. Dimmy, these are the worst, you dirtbag. What? I'm so confused on what just happened. What was okay, that all of these... All of these players have Fend, and it's annoying as fuck and does nothing. What is Fend? And you've, um, it means you can't follow up. Oh. And it's just super annoying. It, like having to click it every time. Yeah. It's so dumb. It should be automatic. It's so annoying that it's not automatic. Like, it's literally so annoying that it's not automatic. Yeah, Demi, it's Coda with a K. <clears throat> Maybe Trends dog could work for Cyanide. Probably, <laughs> probably do a better job than some of them. <laughs> He's a smart dog. Mm. Um, do you want to know what I had for dinner tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's what I like to call girl dinner. Okay. Um, I had. Oh, oh God. I had a whole bowl of lentil mushroom stew, and then. <laughs> And then I had, um, I had a bowl of, uh, yogurt with granola in it. And then I had two pickles. <laughs> and then I had some fruit. <laughs> why, why is this girl dinner and not insanity dinner? <laughs> <laughs> so I like no to call offense. girl dinner. <laughs> No, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite. <laughs> I feel like that's a perfectly normal thing to eat. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, yeah, it was a totally normal thing to eat. Nice. <laughs> Are they good at dodging? Who? Uh, knobs. Uh, no, no, uh, they're no. they're all about penetration, aren't they? Uh, they're about stopping penetration, actually. Mm. <laughs> so that's what they're about, because the the stand firm um, on this guy that you oh, hit. True, I don't know if you yeah. noticed, you didn't actually push him back. Um, yeah. They're they're good at they're good at preventing penetration. Um, okay. But uh, they're not they're not good at creating it. Being like shooting someone in the head with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant to me. <laughs> Short range, both barrels. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm so confused. I feel like I missed something. You've missed that. Okay, so 
if you think what happens to somebody's head if it was blasted in the face with a shotgun, right? Yeah. And how the mess it would make and how, how the speed it would exit. The exit <laughs> speed and the, this explosion that would happen. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then think about what you just said you were reading. <laughs> Climb up my blinds and knock them down. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny though, wasn't it? That was pretty good, yeah. Oh dear me. I'm trying to figure out the best way to like push forward a little bit here. Mm. I already moved this lineman here, so I should just take my just... blitz here. Although, yeah, safe moves first, Jim. Me. Yes. I should move another blitzer in case it fails to like over here somewhere. Correct. Yeah. I mean, any moves, any moves that you want to make that aren't dice rolls, you should do now. Basically, un unless it's affected by, mm -hmm. by where you know, by if this is a knockdown or a cas or whatever. Oh, yeah, they've got forced on firm for you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> I mean, Dimmy, she probably will beat me because I've got knobs. <laughs> what do you have against knobs? <laughs> I'm just not a fan of them, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dimmy loves them, obviously, but... Uh... <laughs> That's Dimmy. Okay, I'm gonna call this good. Okay, well... Ah, oh, this is so stupid. Noms are overpriced. Are they expensive? Yeah, they yeah, they're expensive. Oh, really? Yeah, they're... as we as as everybody except Dimmy knows, <laughs> <laughs> they're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Simply a sensei wants to see some ogre on ogre action. <laughs> <laughs> Not ogre on ogre, but look at this lovely blitzer on blitzer onto a uh, onto ogre action. Ooh. Mm. That was pretty nice. That was snazzy. Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? Thanks. Yeah. And my reward for that Get is my on. ogre on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just eats shit instantly. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Well, oh dear. <laughs> so to completely abandon my defense <laughs> to get in my blow hit and only knocked over myself. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm shocked, honestly, that the ogre didn't kill himself. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that was just like a nice little thing that you can do, right? It probably wasn't the best time to do that move. But it's a little thing that you can do to get. I made my cage pits. one too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just well, make <laughs> like another cage a bit further back. No, we just take GFIs. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> there was a there was a great game, uh, Crucifer, in the uh, in the playoffs. It might have even been it might have even been the one you watched where he he made his cage one too far. And then he just made a second cage and went into the second cage. So that's what you could have done. You you made the same mistake as Crucifer. There you go. Better than Dimmy. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the ogre stays here. Mm, he does hold. <laughs> Back James rubbish. <laughs> Fucking 
doing? <laughs> Dimmy the flip flopper. <laughs> Agents. Dimmy, are you down for some more lethal company this weekend? <laughs> Your only correct answer is yes, by the way. Are you up for actually playing it, Dimmy, instead of just turning the lights <laughs> on and off? <laughs> Other people had to turn them on. <laughs> God. The problem about this weekend is, uh, Are you busy? well, first of all, I don't know when I've got to, I don't know if I've got to do the official stream uh, on Sunday, sure. but, uh, Saturday I will be on till about midnight, I think. <coughs> okay. My time. Have... <laughs> to me, a transition. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> wow. Diced. <laughs> I'd say this should be fine. How's, yeah, that's, how's... that's a pretty good turn. Yeah, is this is this is pretty decent, right? I saw a way to make some space, and I still don't think the ogre activates here because he's tagging those three, and he's kind of yeah. protecting the back. He's protecting yeah. my rear end for sure. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's don't really, expose. It's don't really expose. vulnerable. I can't expose that. <laughs> don't expose your rear to knobs. That's. <laughs> I can only end badly. <laughs> uh, what can I do here? But Dimmy, are you down for Lethal Company this weekend? <laughs> what? Comedy mega. You never test. <laughs> you won't leave him alone. If I can use I can use this to get my knob off. Perfect. Hey yo. Get shit on. It's alright, he got him off, look, there's oh, only two on the yeah, other yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I should have stood him up already. Okay, so just, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Just mash in, hope for the best. Tag the furthest forward guy, and yeah, you, you use that to get a guy off. Seemed all right. Um, yeah. Hell yeah! Don't tell you. <laughs> I wasn't gonna snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. It's ac it was actually really entertaining too. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like obviously next weekend I won't be able to play at all. Yeah, that's um, totally fine. And then this weekend, uh, you know, maybe I just, I just don't really know why. Yeah, we need Elliot. We need Elliot. Like Elliot is, you know, Elliot is worth more than the other three people basically <laughs> when it comes when it comes to a multiplayer game. <laughs> El Eliad is just carries everything. I'm trying to figure out what the best thing for me to do here would be. I mean it's mostly take hits that you've got. Yeah. Keep the ball safe. So you, your priorities are, um, I guess, three threefold, right? There's there's keeping the ball safe, so like yeah, ball ball protection, mm -hmm. protection, I guess, uh, safety, whatever whatever you want to call it. Then there's mm -hmm. penetration. You need you need an amount of penetration, like different Fuck. ones need more. That was a one die. Brilliant. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> or what you can do is uh, expose <laughs> expose your cage corner <laughs> with the blitz on a 1B uh -oh. and uh -oh. have this happen. And then the uh -oh. other thing is like maxi 
<laughs> maxing uh, attrition, and yeah. that, that's generally by maxing blocks, um, making them two Ds and three Ds. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I couldn't like. I think because that was a pal, right? Because I knocked down that guy with my first hit, and my initial plan was I was going to push him into your ogre and then move your ogre off of my guy so I could free that guy, um, that lineman right there. But um, I quickly realized Fend, and um, uh -huh. the I knocked him down. I didn't push him. Fend or P, isn't it, as Dimmy would say? <sighs> yeah, it got me. <laughs> it's not actually OP, but... Uh... It's good sometimes. What am I doing here? I've managed to fill the slots that I needed to blitz in. <coughs> no, no, this is okay. Ben just got a cast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ben. Okay, so this body uh, this bodyguard can do the blitz. How many free players have I got? Um he could punch him to get the assist. The problem is it's a two D with an ogre. Which isn't great. Do safe moves first. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. Fuck off. Fuck me. <laughs> this fucking ogre. <laughs> oh, that moves actually just one deed the ball. Comedy mega. <sighs> Shop killing someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a fun game, fun, fun mess about, but it would be fun to play it as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so just like actually, it. <laughs> actually playing it and like figuring out what stuff is actually going on and everything. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. He's on the ground. More than just more than just pointing and dancing simulator. <laughs> and Dimmy turning off the lights. It wasn't terrible, was it? Like, at least I did the safe moves first to get the uh, yeah. guy in the cage there, in front of the cage. So it's a little bit tricky for you, at least. Yeah, and I just don't remember, like, what the best positioning for anything is. I, I really, I still, like, the, well, because there's the other guy here, if the ogre boneheads. It's just, if I move the ogre, you kind of have a way into the back line, you know? Hmm. I guess it's mostly just, you know, spotting 2Ds and then spotting shapes that will keep the ball safe. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the priority is ball safety, always. Yeah. Not always, but if you, if you, if you are unsure, ball safety is most important because then at least, like, it stops you just straight up losing. Yeah. And, and then after that is, is maxing 2Ds because... Again, at least if you just max two Ds, you know, hit their weak players and stuff, mm -hmm. then you're maxing it like maxing attrition rather than maxing two Ds. Ma maxing two Ds is incorrect. Maxing attrition uh, chances is another thing. So if you if you focus on those two things, then then often the penetration will come right. If you, if you just go in mm -hmm. and try and punch people, then you know like the, now I'm two players down. So just you're just naturally getting penetration by by me having less players to stop you getting it. Um, and then, but then, you know, and then the, it's a, tra it, but it's all a trade-off between those three things. Mm -hmm. It's all a trade-off between those three things because, you know, like I did that, I did that big chain to try and get the extra hit from the ogre, but that gave you the space. And then, you know, if you protect the ball here less, you can get further forward. But then, you know, I might get to hit you, the, I might get to hit your mm -hmm. ball carrier or, you know, if you, if you don't hit my guys when you've got the chance, 
then okay it might let you get further forward or protect the ball better but then that's giving me more blocks back which can yeah. injure your guys and lose you the game so but i think they're the three things in blood bowl is um is moving the ball carrier to like one over here is there an argument for that or no i guess it's in, into chun's column do you mean yeah into chun's column uh so the 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 argument the the reason to do that is if there's somebody over the other side of the pitch that might be able to hit you where you are if if you don't have to move there you shouldn't move there basically okay my only That's reasoning for considering it was if you knock down my catcher or my lineman and follow you'd be tagging my thrower, but I guess that's not the end of the world, is it? No, no, I would say that's not okay. the end of the world. Yeah, Dim, the 500K for a joke is that you spent 500K to hear a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> but we just, heard, we just heard it for free. <laughs> <laughs> So, by the way, you had a two dice block at the end there, your lineman. Uh, Covis the Wound could have blocked uh, my lineman there on 2D. Oh, I didn't. S yeah. Oops. You worried for a few, Jim? No, it's a scent. Very different from perfume. I missed one. You like it. It's called Rock and Sadaf by Tommy Helfick. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have been. No, I should have moved him. Maybe not this guy. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. <laughs> Knobs are crap. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, why do you like knobs? Oh, oh. that's why. A smashed knee. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ban me, Timmy. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs> he wasn't reading a message. <laughs> oh dear. No, sorry, Dimmy. This was it. that was from me. I don't know why you like knobs. I don't think they're very good. I'm sorry. I do apologise, Dimmy. I know. I know you love knobs. But I, I just don't see it myself. I think, uh, I think you know, in that tournament, they're not so bad, right? Getting the extra skills, getting extra guards and stuff, is pretty good. I prefer Chris's six guard. Okay, I'm gonna do something really risky, and you're gonna hate it. Oh, I hate it. I already hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the thing. This is the thing. So it's the also like the board state assessment, right? Yeah. Of, uh, if, do you need to do something unsafe? Do you need more penetration? Not really, right? You're already close enough. Yeah. Do you, so do you need ball security? Yes, because uh, you know you, you've already got the penetration. Now you can like that's without one, you need to get the other basically, which is why at the start yeah. of the drive you have to secure the ball. Um, but you don't have to do it first, but you have to you have to make sure the ball's safe before you start maximizing your attrition. Yeah. You don't need to think about you don't need to think about penetration instantly. You can just concentrate on the maximizing attrition yeah. and the ball security, the start and the stabilization phase. Dior talk. Oh my god, this fucking art coochie. I just I just forget all the time. <laughs> it's, that, that it's so bad. <laughs> it's literally it's really so annoying. bad. Yeah, it's really annoying. Mm hmm Well, my plan just got ruined, so now I'm a little <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Stand firm, it's OP. <laughs> Might as well just triple down at this rate. Let's go. Oh, and do you know what you've done now? You've blitzed the stand firmer. 
that I don't have to stand for. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> Oh, yes. Well. Great move, Trent. Thanks. Sometimes things just don't work out in your favor. <laughs> yep. Nothing I went you for a done. risk. I went for a risk and it did not, did not work. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's dice sometimes. It's actually not not that good for me in a way because like I want to I want to blitz with the blitzer, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't want to uh, not pow. Not powing would be pretty shit. He wants to GFI at the end, maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna have to blitz with this guy and pow. Oh, perfect. The coach will be spitting teeth about this. They've grabbed the ball. It's rude. <laughs> Do apologize. Does a GFI here? Yep. And I could try this dodge out. Or I could uh, leave him to hopefully soak up actions. Uh, there is it. Uh, that is just a 3 plus to hit the ball, so I guess. I guess he has to try this. Glorious. There you go. Um, so yeah, starting with stand firm and wrestle is pretty good. The problem is, it's really good when they get guard, right? And as a, as a starting player, them costing 90 is a bit rubbish. So if you could just start them at 70 and then get like an extra reroll in your starting build, that's a lot better, right? So it, the stand firm is kind of worse for the starting team, but then it's better once they all get guard and like once you get your third reroll and everything. Yeah, the, the linemen are so terrible for 5k less. So terrible. The linemen are, like, infinitely worse than than human linemen. Ah! I wish you could put Fen to automatic. <laughs> Stand firm is fair enough, like. <laughs> I got rid of your uh, canoring threat. <laughs> Yes, yes. Well spotted, well spotted. Thank you. Well spotted. Better than yesterday. Although maybe there was something better I could have done. Retard Panache, yeah. Yeah, yeah, th honestly, my problem with knobs is, I mean, I do like the feathers, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, like, Brett being knights and stuff was... Like, these could just be a human team. Like, I don't really understand why these aren't just a human team. It's... I don't know. I mean, obviously, birds could be a human team as well, but... Having dudes in, like, full plate and stuff is pretty fun, isn't it? And peasants. It's like, why, are they, why is this the richest team in Blood Bowl, apparently? And yet they have Adj2... Hey! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. that, if that were if that worked though, that would have been pretty pretty snazzy. It would have been. It would have been. Do you do you know? Um, the muffin man. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, sad. That is sad. Was there, well, I, I know I should have done something different there, but I saw that and I was like, I just need to go try and get a hit on the ball. I mean, it's probably, 
not going to matter too much, to be honest. Yeah. But there is, there is, was, could be something that you missed. When you said you got rid of my canoring threat. So I set up the chain here so that I can go directly forward without having to do a dodge. That was the point of all of that. Ooh, maybe put him here. And I'm probably not going to score. But, you know, uh, yeah. this guy with three GFRs can score, right? So you got rid of one of the scoring threats, but not the other. So yeah, if I'd made that three plus, yeah, I could have, uh, I would have been in range. So yeah, your plan was okay, but you should have hit him first, and then okay. if you'd got down both scoring threats, then it was good. Forty five K lineman is just for the cost of living in in Sigma. In uh in Altdorf. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. So, um, you think, can I score? No. So now everything is about, is there some kind of play that you, how, <clears throat> how can you score somehow? And I believe there is um, a way I could score. <laughs> <laughs> it just probably has a 10% possibility of working is the thing. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want me to tell you, if you want me to tell you here, shall I, shall I, shall I uh, share my screen so that you can, you can see more easily rather than like the delay, because the delay with live talking is a bit worse, isn't it? Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Oh no! Oh no! It's, you said it would mess up your stream, didn't you? Last yeah. Time. Okay. Just just watch with the delay then, it, and hopefully you can follow it. So, uh, oh, this one's a catcher. Um, yeah, he, that's why it's hard for him to hit. That's the only thing. Right, so what you could do is this human lineman can double GFI to blitz this guy forward. And then this guy can punch him. And then if you get a good scatter, like to scatter the ball, and then if you get a good scatter, one of the catchers can pick it up, give it the other catcher a score. Mm -hmm. um, that's what you're trying to do. Get one catcher to give the other catcher a score. Now, you can't push the, the two bodyguards because it's got to stand firm. So you can't use those to scat the ball. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got to try and use one of these two players to scat the ball. So you could just hit the blitzer, but you can't really reach him from like one of these two squares. So you probably have to you probably have to chain. Like, we'll probably have to hit this guy twice to get him onto it. And like, you can assist yeah. the over and stuff. Or... But like, I guess you could hit with the catcher. You'd have to bring this lineman up and then hit with the catcher and then hit it. And then that gives you the assist for the second hit as well. Oh, yeah. oh no, bring, 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 the, uh, bring the ogre. Yeah, the ogre's probably best to assist. And then the, the catcher blocks 2D, lineman blocks 2D, uh, sorry, blitzer blocks 2D. And then you can, and then you still got the blitz to maybe do something, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's very hard to score. And you can just hurt things, yeah. Depending on, yeah, yeah. So you, so you don't get the, you don't get the push. So that's yeah. okay. So now you can just try and, uh, now you can just go for the easiest things to hurt and just max blocks. And go for the, uh, like so. There you go. So again, this is the, this is the thing. I'm, it's good. It's good for me as well, isn't it? For the, the you know, guides mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I think they're the three things: is, is the ball, um, attrition, and pen. <laughs> the three things to think about and now obviously ball protection and penetration go completely out of the window it's just literally max damage so you know you you whacking assists to uh hurt as many people as possible
Dimmy's knobs. Yeah, I did runs on this. I had, I had, uh, I had, I had imp knobs for Dim, but it was, but it was on Orc team <laughs> because I'm not going to play imp knobs. <laughs> not even for Dim. Oh, get oh my, absolutely okay. shit on Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, you didn't have to give up on the score. <laughs> <laughs> it almost worked. It did. It did. It did almost work. Yeah. Almost worked. I maybe I should have thrown a blitz in there to push him off. I was thinking about it. That would, it, I think it would have worked if I had blitzed him off. Honestly. Maybe. Yeah. Well, no, that next die was a two. Well, you can't you can't yeah. think like that, you know. Maybe yeah. it would have worked. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't. It was close. <laughs> hey, Royal, how's it going? <laughs> it was. Oh my goodness. Quad oh skulls. My goodness. Wait, yeah, that was three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 Why am I so bad at counting? <laughs> Triple skulls there, look! <laughs> oh no, it was two. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I just went for damage because I definitely couldn't score. Right? At least you, yeah. you did have a chance. You had you had a tiny chance of scoring. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so, so yeah, the assessment is then how likely is the score. And I think the correct assessment, I mean, obviously, you you know this, but the correct assessment that that like that's the assessment to make. Yeah. And then and then you could if it's like if it's NAF style, then, you know, it might even be worth it. But generally, like if it's a real team and your players can die um, mm -hmm. going for going for stupid dodges and stuff is just likely to kill your own players and uh, still not win the game where it was getting a removal. You know, still nil nil, right? Um, yeah. You can turn us over and win. So, so if you'd kept your players alive, you know, like if you'd cast a player instead of doing, um, instead of failing to score, if you'd made an extra cas, um, like maybe my blitzer, mm -hmm. I haven't got a blitzer for my own drive, then it's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How are you? Hello, Unforgiven. Not bad tanks. I haven't done the. Uh, I haven't done the quarter final yet. When am I playing? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm playing tomorrow, aren't I? <laughs> I, totally, I totally forgot when I was playing my. Uh, you know, I haven't. I haven't forgotten about Arabie B at all, honestly. Um, yep, yep. Totally knew that I was playing tomorrow. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm out. You know the whole. The whole cyanide thing's been pretty cool for me. I've been pretty. Like only, I literally only found out found out like yes, well not yesterday, two days ago now I guess. So uh, I found out. I wanted to tell everybody because I was like, oh my god, it's amazing. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I was like, you've you've got to let us tell people. <laughs> and uh, they were like, okay, you can tell people. And I was like, good. Did they make an official announcement? Yes. Yeah. There is a. Oh, nice. Oh no, no, sorry, no. So they, they they they've made an official announcement that there's an official stream, but they haven't made one with, about me and Andy yet. I don't think. But, oh, are you are you um, co-streaming with Andy Devo? Yes, there's a oh. there's a guy called Adam Savage, not Adam Savage from MythBusters, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> but there is a guy called Adam Savage. Oh, there was there was a Facebook post. Ah, so um. So yeah, so I think there's going to be like a proper thing before okay. the end of the week. They said so, probably tomorrow. Oh, well, that's awesome, though! Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Koda has the hiccups. <laughs> he just came running to me. He's like, "Mom, help!" <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Um, what happened? Did you not know Rubino? Sorry, I thought I thought everybody would have known. Um, yeah, official, official castle. There you go. I think Devo was already lined up. I, what I think happened, don't mm -hmm. quote me on this. I think Devo was already lined up, and then they realized, like, you know, a week before well, not even a week, days before the tournament started, they were mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, what if he's still in? 
<laughs> and we haven't got a commentator. <laughs> and then so then they asked me and, and obviously I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And it was all right. That's still super exciting though. Oh, mm. wait, sorry, I need to do the kickoff. It's your kickoff, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry, I thought you were no. I thought you were busy with your cat, so <laughs> No. Coda's fine now. Oh, it was your dog. Sorry, it was I my didn't dog. know she was with. It was Coda. Oh, it was your cat. Uh, oh, here we go. Didn't lose my turn. It's always a nightmare. The, the UI is bad there and people lose their turns. So. Oh, too easy. The myth buster one. No, this this Adam Savage is good. Um, we did a we did a match. He just uh, he was just like, "Should we do a match together?" That was nice of him, wasn't it? And you know, I was like, "Yeah." And then we did a match together, and uh, just on my YouTube, well, my YouTube, my Twitch, and it went pretty well. And uh, I guess. I guess it'll all be good in the end. When's the okay, finals? So there's um like twentieth and twenty first, basically. Of January. It's like Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so very short notice. And like also the thirteenth and the fourteenth. So the thirteenth and the fourteenth are um oh my god. <laughs> uh we're doing the commentary like remotely. Mm. And uh Oh, I should have gone this square. <laughs> Never mind. Slight misposition. I'm sure it won't matter. Yeah, pick up the ball. Just to make sure I'm out of range. Because I messed up the screen. And uh, so, yeah, so... Basically, they're, they're going to... It's it's all like... It's kind of hard scheduled in that they've got to play loads of games Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, this Saturday and Sunday, they've got to play loads of games. And then we'll we'll commentate remotely. And then next weekend, uh, we'll be in Montpellier uh, doing the, like, you know, some rounds. And then the, the it, mostly the final, I think. on I think the Sunday is mostly the, the grand final, best of three. Okay. Mm. That's still really cool, though. Very cool, yeah. Hello, Ordant. Uh, this is not NAF. No, this is, just, this is just rookie teams. We can't make NAF teams because the functionality isn't in Blood Bowl. Well... It is if admins do it right. They they did it for the NAF kickoff event, and they did it for the uh, the like big playoffs. So I wonder, I wonder if they could do it for my Super League. So um, so yeah. So I might, what I might do is I might say to them like when I do this, I might ask them if 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 they can like do that for the Super League, and if they do that for the Super League, we could have different teams. But if not, we can just use the teams that we all had in the play-ins. Oh, so just dodging off. You could have like we could have we could have uh, satisfied the desires of chat and gone for hot ogre and ogre action there because you had the you had oh, the true. <laughs> you had the assist already. Oh <laughs> uh, no 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 no! That's coming. Don't worry. It's it's we gotta we gotta make chat wait a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and brilliant. Yeah. Get him to go. So, all safe moves. Safe moves first. That's what it's all about. I just want to try and protect the ball. I guess. Is more important than penetration. There's no need, in no rush, to uh, get forward yet against nine players. I mean, I've only got nine myself, but mm -hmm. against nine, there's no real rush. Like just because there's gonna be more holes in the defense and stuff, and I've only got two rerolls, so I want to like kind of hold off my push for a bit longer if I can. Yeah. So that I've got a bit. I've got more likely to have rerolls. To apply to the push, um, basically. Make sure you can't base the ball for free. Yep. Hello, dog to the dog. Uh, 
Hello, potatoes. My brain is a potato. My whole life is potatoes. <laughs> I have potato blood in my veins. I have potato blood in my veins. <laughs> Wow, you, you sound almost as Irish as Skuro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Unforgiven. <laughs> Incredible. Santado. I remember now, actually, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I think that's fine. The Trinity. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that's very good. We need to get we need to get Dimmy on, and then we can have the Trinity. <laughs> Actually, isn't that four? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! <laughs> what's what's a word for like Trinity, but not Trinity for four? <laughs> Quadrity, I don't know. <laughs> Calamity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that <It's>... for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what. I don't even know what's what. Yeah, what, I don't know. What I don't it should know. be for four. Yeah, like the Holy Trinity. Demonic. Quaternity. Oh, so Quaternity. It was quotes, it? <laughs> Quaternity, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna punch punch a dude. Mighty blow. Silver is not the best. You know, he's just trying his best. Don't hate I him. I mean, is he? Is he though? He doesn't, he doesn't, it doesn't feel like he's trying his best. I've got to be honest. It feels like he's not trying at all. He's rolled so many both downs. Mm. Hasn't made a casualty. I'm disappointed. Peace chat. Fuck. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Fantastic. We have a stupid ogre and two stuns. It's not a gaping hole, but it's a uh, it's a promising one. I mean, I haven't done a lot of probing here. Generally, you want to like you know if you, if you're not. Like, you know, if you just move people around a bit, maybe, yeah. maybe people make mistakes and stuff. But I, I'm more concerned about you coming for the ball, basically, because I've got a lot to defend it. So uh, so, be, so that's why I'm, like, staying pretty, pretty, uh, yeah. pretty, like, solid and narrow. So that if you come for it, you've got to come around the sides. And then if you come around the sides, my, go, my guy can then you come can forward. just collapse, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. So that was the idea. Whereas if I brought the ball forward and did something, then, you know, maybe you could come around and start pressuring me. So I thought, if I, the longer I leave it, the less chance there is of you scoring yeah. on my drive, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you upload those Annoying. casts to YouTube? Yes, uh, I think tomorrow is, is when your ones are going on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch them at work. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> there's a, I think there'll be two, I think there's one more before the, uh, I don't know, there might be more as well, actually. So they've, um, there's the, the, the official cast is on 
Saturday from five, I think. Okay. And then other people are playing before five. So, oh, you twat. That is annoying. Um, so yeah, so I think, you know, so people are playing at like 10 a.m. and three and stuff. Okay. Let's have a look. So yeah, on the Saturday itself, there's people like playing at 10 and, f and 3. So I might cast those on the Saturday. Well, maybe it's not the 3 ones, because that'll cut it really fine. But maybe I'll cast the 10 the 10 a.m. one um, mm. on my own channel on okay. Saturday. And then Friday at 9 um, is is Chunter versus Inarian. So I'll, I shall do that one. But I don't know who... I guess I can ask Andy and Adam if they want to join for that to have like the you know the you know like a a semi official cast. Um, but you know maybe maybe either one or both will. And if not, if neither are up for it, then I can ask like you know maybe it's Dimmy, Dimmy or Eliod. Uh, so that that should be a good one. That Chunter versus Inarium. Yeah. Very very favoured Chunter by the uh, by the teams, but. Uh, you know, anything, anything can happen. Inarin has already beaten French Chunter in this competition, so. <laughs> <laughs> French Chunter. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a guy called Olivier Dulac, and he uh, he basically plays like Chunter on mm. tabletop. Gonna miss the Arab BB draw. Excuse um, you. Yeah, sadly, sadly, unforgiven. It's it's all stations go for me for the next couple of couple of weeks with all this uh, all of this stuff. I also kind of want to make some YouTube like guide videos and mm -hmm. to, to get them out there now that oh my god, now that I'm an official, you know, caster and like not uh, not despised by the powers that be anymore. <laughs> 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 no longer a pariah you know maybe i should make the you know like i thought of making them anyway right like yeah once once i found the gameplay like the reason i didn't want to make the guides was because i didn't find the game playable and i just didn't want to be a dickhead making game make, making guides for a game that i hated yeah whereas now now that i don't hate it um i think it's completely reasonable to make guides for it Okay, so by by uh, by not coming up till now, I think I have avoided um, just yeah, losing. I, I tried to make something happen that last turn and it didn't work. Also, hi Argon. Yeah, just playing with humans again, just to get back into the groove and vibe of Blood Bowl since I've been gone for so long i don't remember how to play <laughs> <laughs> all right so he's stand firm so he can he can push forward i think i'm doing better tonight than i did last night for sure um yeah like some things it's it's tough right it's tough because it's so it's such a it's such like um I know there's like there's a lot of like subtle things and stuff, isn't there? So it's mm -hmm. it's it's hard to assess, which is why a lot of people just play in the dice when when things don't work because it's it's hard to assess what 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 things are even wrong a lot of the time, and yeah. then what things could be better and all this kind of stuff. So um, well, this is quite a good little move, isn't it? So yeah, I mean. It, 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 well, the farm the first game was you, you. You played really well in defense, I thought, in the the, the first half, like you know, against the beast yeah. men. But then it was just that one guy that you let away, right? And you did basically the same thing this time, right? In the, I mean, it wasn't on defense, but like there was that guy that was just in range. Like you stopped the the obvious one, but then if mm -hmm. you'd stopped this, if you hadn't, like you know, you didn't stop the second one, and if I'd made like a three two two, I would have scored. So. Uh, this was pretty. This was pretty close to being one nil up right now, um, but at least you saw one of them, mm -hmm. and then so that's better than seeing none of them last time. And it's just to, like I guess it's getting back in the groove, isn't it? Will uh, yeah. will make a big difference. 
and then there's also there's getting back into the groove and then there's also uh like getting better and I don't know how much you want to get better really as well isn't that is the thing isn't it I want to get better for sure yeah that's good yeah I don't want to be shit at a game I'm playing all the time that's just <laughs> that's just not fun okay It's just. So yeah, well, I mean, you know, like if you. Oh uh... fuck! I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. That was a misclick. Oh dear. Oh, oh fuck. Dear. I mean... <laughs> Oh, we're fine. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> oh yeah, you might want to change the blood on the pitch to uh, like uh, like only armor breaks or only injury. I think it's on armor breaks at the moment. You might want to change it to like, it might be on knockdowns. There's something like knockdowns, armor breaks, injuries, mm. or or just off. I just have it off because I think it just looks stupid having blood everywhere. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, if you make, I don't know if you can make it just cars. I, I think maybe you've got to make it armor breaks rather than cars. Um, but yeah. Oh, Archon. A stupidly elaborated spreadsheet, glorious, unforgiven. Nine free Friday. Oh yeah, that's 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 unfortunate timing with Chunter and Arian, because yeah, that's that one's gotta be done. Right, it doesn't have to be done, but I think it's a very good idea to do it. That was the one that they you know they wanted to show. They were gonna show, I think I think what they want to do is like show the journey of one player, which I was like that's pretty shit for that player <laughs> because they were going to have like, they were going to have Chunter's game at like six till eight. Oh no, no, sorry. Five till seven. And then like his second game at seven till nine or nine till 11. Like, so do you know what I mean? Whichever one it was, he'd just have to play, like he might just have to play two back to back games. And it's like, well, other people have played their game on Tuesdays. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, so it's a bit harsh to like follow somebody like that. And, uh, I'm not sure they've changed it <laughs> completely, so then people still might get a bit screwed having to play twice in one night when other people are uh, completely fine. All right, so here we go. Let's. Yeah, I know there's a hole right there, but I wanted to protect my. Uh... Do you do you think dropping my catcher down there to protect my other catcher was worthwhile, so you couldn't surf? Him. Well, not this catcher. Because can you shoot a play, guys? You should have followed. You should have followed with the other catcher. I mean, you can use dodge here. Well, sorry, you cannot you use dodge here. I couldn't. Ah, well, there you go. You couldn't. So you cannot use dodge. If you if you use dodge, you'll get surfed, right? So you can shoot. It's giving you the choice. Yeah. Um, if you do, if you if you don't use it, you'll get knocked over. But if you use it, you'll get surfed. So. Yeah. He was in a bit of a uh, he was in a precarious position. Oh, he gets he gets he gets surfed anyway. <laughs> Essentially. Uh, just yeah. Like, but yeah, like, it was right to not it was right to not use dodge because you're just gonna get surfed. So yeah, that that was something to think, I guess, the follow up with me having this bodyguard there. It was the uh, it was the follow up surf you had to think about. So if you've gone the mm, other side I see, which yeah. I think you probably could have done. Then uh, then was, you'd I be alright. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I see now. But, yeah, this lineman pr pr protected the surf. This lineman protected the surf completely because now I can't, you know, get into that the square in between and to surf. Oh, him. true. Yeah, so, I didn't so even your, think about lineman, that. Yeah. Yeah, your lineman pr pr prevented the surf. Oh my god, my ogre. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's the end of the turn then. Um. Yep. Not the best. Hello, Dode, bro. <laughs> Hopefully not the Dode. <laughs> Is it a reference to Dode? 
<laughs> no offense to Dort, of course, but uh. <laughs> I'm sure he's a lovely fella. I got him. Ah, well, there you go. Then he was—he was a dude who was involved in Blood Bowl one and two. It is a pretty big coincidence, yeah. He was uh, universally despised. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> wasn't that bad, but uh, he, he was unpopular with some people. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't terrible. He really wasn't terrible. He was. He was misguided, basically. That's all. That is a pretty funny coincidence. <laughs> Stanford. Is that colder? Yeah, that was him growling. I was <laughs> grabbing his tail. It's it's so honestly I never want to use knobs again. It's 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 so annoying having to click. Stand and fun. Stand and fam firm. Fend and stand firm all the time. Oh my god. Constant okay. clicking. Is moving my lineman at the bottom here is not good, but is putting my thrower tagging your ball with the thrower okay here? Or is that bad? Like should they just stay where they're at? Well, so you've got you've got to think to so to answer that question yourself, you have to Look at the turn. So I've got two turns left to score. You've got one turn left to stop me after this. Yeah. So you've got to think about what I can possibly do and what moving something somewhere does to help or hinder me. Um, so, for example, here, if, if I stand up this lineman, I can two dice block your ogre with my ogre. Does that help me? Not really. So so basing this, this, basing this lineman doesn't do a whole lot for you. Um, I can block back and free up a player. So, um, and my ogre is stupid. So you actually could put a player that bases both of my linemen and my ball. But then, you know, but then like something else, then I might do a 1D to then mm. get to 2D that guy and free them up and then scoot down the sideline. At the moment, the, the way you probably like, when you look, you've got an ogre and you've got uh, the blitzer, the catcher, the other blitzer. So you've got like, you've got quite a lot stopping me switching to go diagonally so mm -hmm. it seems like you know if you put maybe move your human lineman over one one close to the sideline or just stay where he is the lineman you've mm -hmm. got to or, or bring the throw up one square but um i think trying to like or even maybe even up diagonally on the thrower right on the sideline um i think trying to stop me getting down like the sideline is the play here it's because more important okay because you've you've pretty much got like, like this area locked down, right? With the uh, with the the ogre and the three players you've just moved. Yeah. But those four are, are stopping the the diagonal switch pretty much. Um, so yes, yeah, so now you're worried about the the sideline scoot. I guess I'm just scared to put players on the sideline like this, but it's fine here because like the other players stopping you from coming in, like you can't serve him really. Mm, yes. So, be, so the way that I could surf him would need two blitzers, right? I'd have to yeah. blitz him from the corner and then chain chain my blitzer forward and then surf him with my blitzer. So, yeah, I can't really chain him. That so by not tagging the thrower, what you do is give my bodyguard a two D on the blitzer there. Um, but you know, like, so, so that's, that's what you'd have been getting. But then, if you did that, mm -hmm. then. I could have just dodged and, and run forward down the sideline. So I think it probably was better to to stop me getting down the sideline, yeah. Yeah. I think that was the right play. Like, I've got to get somebody in scoring range like this turn, right? Which is not easy. Um, and so after, after saying that the, the diagonal was pretty secure, um, I think... What I'm going to do is start with a blockless block. Oh, how dare you? Hmm. And then an ogre.
a block. Spicy. Yeah, it's not great, is it? But then look, that gets me this guy out. Yeah. So this is rubbish, right? Because he's edge two plus, uh, edge four, yeah, edge four plus. So he's not very good scoring, but he is in range three, six, seven, yeah. And even if you push him back, he's still in range. So he's he's a he he's something. He's not very good, but he's he's there at least. It's something mm -hmm. for you to care about. I follow? I guess I do follow there. And then I can... I can 1D Blitz Pow with my thrower. And then run down. Or I can 1D Blitz Pow with my Blitzer. And run down. Or I could move the ball up there. Which is very, very, very dangerous. That seems a bit shit. I need to go forward two to get in range. God. So I think I have to blitz. Oh, I can pass it. I can pass it to the blitzer, right? So the blitzer just has to pow here on a 1D. Oh, so good at blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kills him as well. Amazing. Oh my God. Oh, so God. lucky. <laughs> So that's so completely. annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty lucky. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm getting punished for moving this guy first, right? If I'd if I'd saved, if I'd waited with him, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, I could have pulled him round to here, done a GFI, and I could have had a completely safe ball. But because I like did the safe moves first, it has cost me in like success state. Mm -hmm. But I mean that was I mean that wasn't a ridiculous success rate. Like that was unbelievably lucky to get that um yeah ridiculously lucky because even if i like if i hadn't if i hadn't ko'd him i would have had to do a dodge like breaking his armor was lucky but then uh i would have had to like dodge both of these guys through as well but mm -hmm. maybe maybe i should have planned for the success state like it wasn't that ridiculous to uh knock him down and make two dodges uh so like it was only a double one that I was failing, or a, or a one in nine. So maybe maybe it's, maybe it's I shouldn't have got that scoring threat. Who knows? I could have had a total screen. Um, but this is pretty good, right? Because your lineman needs a four plus to get out now. So you've only yeah. got your catcher and your blitzer that can easily get free. I mean that that's that's enough. <laughs> yes, yes, dog to the dog and dog grow. A hundred hours is very new to Blood Bowl, yeah. It's uh it takes a it takes a long old time to like well it depends, right? It depends how you've how how what you've done in that hundred hours, right? Mm -hmm. If if you've if you've not read the rules and you've not watched any YouTube videos or Twitch streams or red guides or anything, and if you're just like banging your head against the wall in Blood Bowl three, <laughs> then then that hundred out. Oh, I have to reroll that. But you know what you could have done instead? What? Um, Olga block probably right. You probably have a free player. Uh, no, you true. don't. No, no, I mean you might not actually. No. no, you might not have had a free player. You might oh, not. If have I, had a free if player. I, no, because they would have been uphill against your ogre. Oh, so your, your ogre could have hit to free your lineman if he powered, yeah. right? But then he would needed a power, so that's not necessarily better. That's not necessarily better. But it's it's maybe better to have done the ogre block first if you hit my lineman. And then if you power him, mm. your lineman's free. And then you've got the blitzer afterwards as well to, like, you know, true, true. secure it a bit more. But, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's, down it's, here is not not a good option right no no my blitzer has block so yeah, yeah. oh so actually oh it's too late now it actually might have been not that bad even though you'd put yourself on the ground and end your turn because at least you'd have somebody directly in front of me but i would just three dice him so i think yeah. this is better yeah i think this is better it wasn't necessarily better though like like do you know what i mean like if if you if you'd had like if that catcher had been like say an ogre yeah. then uh or a beast of nurgle like a particularly beast of Nurgle, then the push would have been terrible. Um, the two characters in the bottom right 
<laughs> our uh, our characters from the JFW, <laughs> which is ww two K um universe oh. where lots of members of the Blood Bowl community have wrestlers made of them. Is yep. taking a two die better than dodging without dodge? Yes. It yes. Is. Be because you can re-roll it. So it's well, essentially no the same, right? With no re-roll. With no re-roll, it's it's the same. It's the same. Okay. So, so it depends when in the match it is, right? Because if the 2D works, you can kill my player. Mm. And if the dodge works, you can't kill my player. Yeah, okay. Because then if I if if I did do that, I could have freed my my lineman and then had mm. my lineman tagging the back of your character. Yeah, and then he's strength three as well, right? So it's like then it's strength yeah. three versus strength two, and oh, so wait, wait, your your lineman, the, your lineman that fell over, it doesn't have dodge, right? No, I was moving him just to get a scoring threat, but right. um, um, the other. So if the ogre hit your guy um in in front of him from your direction yes. uh that would have freed that lineman who could have dropped on the back side of your ball carrier and then yes he would have been double tagged yes that that, that was better. way way that was way more important than getting a scoring threat okay way more because you're really like mega likely to lose right yeah the next at like you you're losing like um 80 times out of 81 at the moment. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, at the moment, yes, the fact that you're losing 80 times out of 81 means that um, it was much more important to do the ogre block. No matter no matter what the chances of this succeeding was, it's mm -hmm. much more important to do the ogre block and get that guy on him to make it a bit harder for me. Um, okay. And then after you do that, then you can do that dodge. And if, if yeah, even if that had been a two plus dodge with dodge, get you know make make my score harder than a, a one in 81 basically is the okay is the most important thing i guess there's like yeah, some kind the of turn order there yeah yeah that's i guess there's like some kind of thing on defense right like similar mm -hmm. i guess it's just the opposite right of like can you sack the ball and uh and like can you score and stuff but then that that is low priority the uh Mm -hmm. Sacking the ball is pretty much low priority. It's like just getting in the way. Can your opponent score for free? Do you want them to score for free? And then, you know, go for more attrition and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think, you know, I think there's something here that I could, uh, that I could make, like some kind of like, you know, not uh, YouTube. Rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some kind of little YouTube guide. A checklist. To, uh, yeah, a checklist, a checklist, yeah. A little yeah. checklist can help people, can't it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, impossible so, so I, to do a one turn here, isn't it? Um, it, it yeah, with the number of players, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, so yeah, so like, so getting a hundred hours. It depends how you spent them, right? If if you spent them, um, just mindlessly playing Blood Bowl three, it's going to be hard, and you'll be very new after a hundred hours. But if you've if you've used like the rules and the Twitch and the YouTube's and like you know articles like 1000 losses playbook and all this kind of stuff uh what's it called uh, the art of blocking uh obviously the setup guides there you go glorious setup guides um and and all that kind of stuff if, if you do all of that stuff then then you will rapidly be you know decent level but if if it's just like fumbling around in the dark it's it, you're going to be very new after 100 games yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I think, I mean, you could try. I'm, gonna I'm still going to try. Yeah. You can get two pushes. You, you can get two pushes. You can't get, you can't get three. Yeah. So what you can do is, yeah, you, you can practice like, you can imagine that your catch is a gutter runner and practice. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, what you, you could score the one turn here. The way you'd score the one, and well, I don't know you can score the one turn here. The way you would attempt to score the one turn here would be so now quick snap you can't move people in a tackle zone anymore mm. so you'd have to move your catch it where the three plus thing is um you know that where can you oh, see what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, i don't so have, have to stream up yeah well no can you not see it on your on your screen can you see where i'm aiming the kick 
or no? No. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> so um, anyway, you, the the like side of the LOS, right? If you if two to the left as you look at him, um, mm -hmm. if you put your capture like on the LOS, two to the left, yep, yeah, there. So that then, if you got a quick snap, he could go diagonally up one on the quick snap, mm -hmm. um, like up and right. Yep, and then you could push him from there. That that's that's how, that that's that would be the only chance of getting a one turn from from this situation. Oh, okay. And and then the other thing, the other so so be, uh, there you, there you, go. <laughs> you would there have got it. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had a chance um, if you'd given yourself a chance. But I mean, that's really hard, right? There's probably and then you'd still have to work how how to do it, and you might not have enough players. But that yeah. would be how you would even try to do where, it. Where where was this lineman? He was just yeah. chilling over there. I'd complain. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to see if I remember how to do the... Because it would have been like this. But even then, that's an uphill. Because I don't have enough players. So, so then doing it, you would have had the ogre over one. So the ogre would have started with the first hit. And then you would have had an assist on the second hit. And then also that would have filled a square. So you'd have brought somebody in to fill the square behind. Then you would have two deed, got the catch of four. They would have all be, been filled. Then you would put it in. So the, you'd have one hard dodge to do. You'd have to do one four plus dodge. Um, and then you'd get him there, and you'd have to four plus three plus through to score. So it was, it was possible. It was oh, possible. Oh, yeah. I've done it. I've worked it out instantly. <laughs> there, which was pretty good. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's the your it, brain's it, it a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, like, I've just I've seen it all before, haven't I? Yeah, so it's, the, it's the thing, and uh, totally used to spotting it. Whereas, uh, whereas, you know, you've barely played. Like, it, it's cool to even even see the thing to even see the thing that you saw. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the other day was really good. The you know the chain with the ogre and that that was a really good chain yesterday. Really, really Thank good you. spot. Hmm. And then, like, there's oh my god, Elliot, Elliot did a did a crazy score in the cup. Like, he, he put in a million snotlings. Like, we thought he couldn't score because the guy he was going to hit the guy forward with caught the ball. So we were like, oh, "What are you? That's it. He's fucked it. He can't score." And then he just put in a million, a million snotling dodges, and then he uh, he chained the guy forward directly and. You know, we were pretty impressed. Wait, why did I do? Oh God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, he wouldn't matter. have it he doesn't... wouldn't have been able to pick up the ball. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Honestly, one turns, one turns are not something you need to be worried about because uh, they're just in, fun. In a, well, in Araby B, sings Unforgiven C. <laughs> and uh, not to be too mean to Galentio, who's in the playoffs, but Galentio had like a movement eight guy with sidestep and. Uh, and like agility four, and like he his his one turn attempt was terrible. Like it was terrible. 